I am gonna moan about the British media. I represent my fucking self. I hate, I hate. Because um, sometimes I wonder how some of them even get a job. Um, I was watching an interview recently with Christian Pulisic. Now he's, um, of course, signed for Chelsea from Borussia Dortmund and um, he was being interviewed about everything to do with Chelsea, or so you would think. He was there at Stamford Bridge, he had the Chelsea shirt on and it was a time to speak about the move and you know what his uh, thoughts are about Chelsea, the future, um, the players he's going to be playing with, um, you know, all those kinds of positive things that you speak to new signings about. Well, the interviewer asked about Jadon Sancho, a former teammate at Borussia Dortmund. Not once, not twice, but three times. Three separate questions about Jadon Sancho, about where he could go, you know, what could he achieve? This is an interview about a man who's just signed for Chelsea and you're asking about a former teammate. He then goes on to start asking him questions about Eden Hazard and that he could be his possible replacement. Eden Hazard is still a Chelsea player at the moment. Absolute joke of an interview, to be quite honest with you. And... Um, I actually felt sorry for Pulisic, to be quite honest, because it was quite awkward watching that. But, yeah, the British media, man. How some of these get a job, I will never, ever know. Let's have a look at the transfers in the world of football. And the news yesterday that was seeming to be all over the media was that Arsenal are waiting until the uh, Europa League final finishes next week before they launch a bid for Bournemouth's Ryan Fraser. Now, his name has been mentioned before um, the end of the season, but it seems like now his name's being mentioned again. And I'll tell you the one thing that annoys me is not the fact that we're looking at to sign this player, because I actually think he would be a good addition to the squad. Um, it's the people that just seem to dismiss it immediately. Not good enough. Everyone must be 50, 60, 70 million pound signings. This guy had over 20 goals and assists in the Premier League last season. The most created chances ahead of the likes of Eden Hazard and Mo Salah. If he, you know, deserves the move to a club like Arsenal, then he's earned that. And I think his performances would suggest that. You look at what we've got out wide at the moment with the likes of Awobi, Mkhitaryan. Could he be an upgrade? Yes, he could. So, um, I don't have a problem with it, but... At the moment, that's kind of all the transfer news that's going on. It's a bit quiet at the moment, um, even though the window's open because there's some that are not open. Um, so I think there's just a little bit of poker going on at the moment and a few little rumours here and there. But that was the one yesterday, Ryan Fraser to Arsenal. Um, be interesting to see whether that one goes through or not.